Radiant team pick. Anti-mage. And I'm bringing himself a, a, a self actually at four minutes here. Probably just wants to save his, his bottle charges. Oh, Faith Beyond, did he get a little bit too far out there? Looks like he could be right click to death, one miss, but a swing from Jerex will bring him low. Can make a big difference in these early ganks, especially because it's a little unpredictable sometimes for both players <laughs> the person using it and the person <laughs> yep, receiving. Yep. But there's just so much setup here to kill Anna, and if they can get the slow off, alright, that's going to be a good start. He doesn't have a quality either. Got the chain. Sprout leading into the LSA, an easy kill there. Ice Ice drop it a bit low. Jarek's going to try Make and finish two. him off with the Leech Seed, slowing down Y. Instead, they get the nuke to finish him off from S4. Now it goes for the secondary support, but they're losing support of their own. Fly's already down. Jarek's is gone. Fly is able to stay alive, but it's going to be S4 blocked out. Nice plays from Fate Beyond. Beautiful blocking. The Furion is working out beautifully here for Team Random. Oh, it's just a Furion fast push, but instead they are not able to get the gank, but they are able to take some of the neutrals. Ooh. Jerex is here, he's going to be able to stop that TP. Blink is unable to get out fast, and now here comes the Amber Spear, and he sees a beautifully lined up kills. He's going to be able to catch Blink. Blink can't even finish off Jerex in time, but the Fable will get him, but they do get a duel immediately afterwards onto Wise. Or Ember Spirit or a tree setting up the, the initiation. Uh, Innocence d did grab Fire Run at least, so he's going to be able to initiate, but I think he's going to get caught here maybe. Fly, he's already dead in the mid lane. Innocence, Y is able to get himself away. Immediate TPs from the Tree and Protector. Actually canceling that one out. It looks like the Telekinesis from Y is able to put a stop to that one. Jerex runs his way along the trees. Should be good. Breaking trees. Why? You gonna oh, be able to oh, he revealed him again. Can they actually kill him in this short window? Looks like they should be able to. They've got the burst damage. And they stole living arm. They didn't feel ready to deal with that. But that was a lot of free damage, really, considering that the Alka solo. He can catch Jerex here. He's actually got a dust, and he does a lot of damage. Phase boots doesn't actually have the Blightstone out there. Jerex, use of the ultimate, try and TP away, but gets stopped by Ice Ice with the Boundless Strike. And three more seconds. It's dust really close, is but. just not going to last long enough. But maybe Anna can actually take something out of this one. He actually bursted down the tree, so Ice Ice was stunned up for a while. Won't be able to lifesteal enough. The Furion dies as well, and that's really all that Jarex needed. Didn't need to survive, just buy enough time to be able to kill those two other heroes. Get some rebuttal. Mid lane, there's a rebuttal for you. Blink takes the life of the Crystal Maiden. But it was just a couple seconds too late. Too much damage being done there. Jarex sitting by the last tree remaining here. Oh, this could be huge. Blink get the stun. gets caught by the bash. Now Anna's going to be able to follow that one up. Blink has the Yule Scepter, but there's really not much he could do to stop this one. Now Ice Heist has been found by S4 as well. He managed to quell and Blink down the tree, gets the duel. An additional kill for OG. They tie up this. What the uh, the Prophet provides. Jerex thinking about landing a stun of Faith Beyond, but he's got to wait for more to get there. Maybe Jump not. Four now with the Blink Dagger, but they do have the setup. Nice. Double Boundless Strike. They're going to be able to follow that out with the Monkey King Ultimate. Telekinesis into the Alchemist. Now the Yule Scepter. He's going to come back down oh, and Manta. stun himself, but nice use of the Manta. Animate jumps forward, pops the Manta in himself in order to get rid of that Disable from the Chains. Monkey King still scouting out some of these heroes. S4 is on top of line, but Shadow is there to be able to protect his supports. Now the jump in from Ice Ice in the back line to immediately jump back into the trees, but they caught Shadow. They did manage to get that dual damage too right before the Laguna Blade came in. Shadow is a big time kill, and now OG can try and run over the rest of Team Random, pushing into that tier two tower between the Monkey, Rubik, and the Lina. But we really haven't seen much of this Lina so far. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's gone for some Yule's combos, but uh, the times that they did happen, uh, OG was able to avoid them, which is definitely huge. Why? Very likely to die here, unless they're aiming for Shadow instead. He's got Manta, so he can get out of it. But First in Snare, Fly, ready to follow that one up. Shadow, very carefully holding on to his Manta until the follow-up is there. Didn't quite get there. Why does Manta get the Telekinesis on to no tail? Slowing him down just a little bit. Gets a little bit of unstable concoction action there as well, but Blink, he's been caught. That's even worse. They lose a core. Can they get an extra one? Fate Beyond can't even get the TP out. Slowed down by Anna. Duel to follow that one up. Did they notice Ice Ice? They did with a slight. He's now has to jump himself away. Might not be able to escape. Long time. The Manta is obviously a huge help, but he still has to play safe. Like you saw how long Fly waited. Yeah. That's the right move, but it's so dangerous. If they, get, if they catch the right one, or if they land you with a stun right after you Manta, oh, they do kill Anna finally. And it goes down. S4 also going to be a little bit caught here. Ice Ice throws out his ultimate. Doesn't want a chance getting dueled and dying to S4. So that was a little bit of extra insurance. Now with Fate Beyond here with the Deso damage, just not nearly enough. Demas could come at the creep wave. 
Ember is probably the one they want, though. He's way more mobile, and he's got a Blink Dagger. Here comes to travel up to the top lane. Jerix begins to try and slow down Faith Beyond. There goes the Sprout out. Jerix threatening the ultimate, Ooh, but Anna's here chance. now. They go in to get the chains. Now the follow-up ultimate will be able to stop that TP out from Faith Beyond. And all that gold is just kind of being fed right back into the OG members. This is Treant used to perfection, basically. Scout things out, get the follow-up. It really works well. Oh, the oh, blink on blink. No Tail. Picked up by No Tail results in an easy kill. One of the big negatives of Nature's Prophet is what happened last time he died. Just very easy to get killed. Oh, miss from Boundless Strike. A nice blink back there from S4. Now the rest of OG are all here. They can pop the Manta. Do manage to jump himself away. Ice, ice. Oh, oh no. He jumps over to grab Shadow in the process. Knocks down the tree. The dual win against Shadow is the big time kill, though. He's down for 70 seconds. You spot Monkey King on the back line, though. Oh, they missed the Syrian, though. Him. No. Ice Ice jumps forward. Still, though, that tier 3 is at half health, and they cannot afford a buyback on the enemy. It just can't work. He's going to be too slow down on his farm. So, no tail. CC opportunity to jump forward. Does manage to catch Y. Monkey King lays out his ultimate, but flies immediately going to address him with an ultimate of his own. Lays out the freezing field, and they do manage to get the duel in there as well. Three more seconds till the enemy mage is back up. OG may not be able to claim this melee wreck, but they are going to try. Three versus five. Team Random, can they possibly be able to put a stop to this one? Shadow gonna get bashed up by oh. Jarek, slowed down. LSA complete whiff there. Jarek gets a really good ultimate in the back line. Blink gonna be target here as Anna jumps forward, managed to finish him off. Almost Yule Scepter protecting for a time being, but Blink still goes down. Shadow has to blink backwards. A buyback now from the Fury on Faith Beyond, trying desperately to put a stop to this push on the melee racks, but now Shadow's been caught. Hell did blink forward once again by No Tail. They're trying to get Shadow, but he blinks away. He does manage to get back to the fountain, heals himself up. It, that space does create enough time for them to be able to take that melee rag. It's got to oh, be. It's got to be true. It's right? got to be true. Uh, Legion Commander is one of those eggs that. Whoa, Ice Ice, oh. what you doing here, buddy? Challenges Anna, runs in a fly, as well as S4 in the process. Huh. Sam that walk from mid to go to the medium camps. They're going to see it coming. Blink. Managed to get the unstable concoction. Nice man to dodge there from Shadow. Oh, S4 almost got the duel there. Might still be able to get it, or at least the ensnare. Maybe Anna got him right before the blink. Now a bash on S4 stops the duel for a moment. But it is a momentary respite that he will survive. That would have been such a big kill. Now they just kind of have to wait for this Monkey King ultimate. No tail and stable concoction queued up. Yule Scepter to dodge, but Faith Beyond still going to be caught in the process. And it looks like Blink can't manage to make it out. LSA hits on two, but now a duel on a shadow. They can't afford the to lose their start. animage. What a beautiful boundless strike. And a telekinesis follow up. They're actually stunning all these heroes. They need the big ultimate to finish this one up. And in the back, flies dead. Here comes the ultimate. It's not enough to finish off Anna. Shadow didn't have that much mana burns and out now. Shadow's going to be caught. He doesn't have to blink away. He's dead. 80 seconds. No buybacks coming out from Team Random. There is no way that Blink can do enough damage, can he? It's not. GG is called. Five dead heroes. OG just wins it. It looks so close at the end. That unstable concoction from Innocent stunned four heroes with the Boundless Strike. But they needed a big mana void right there, and they just